What a beautiful day today. Wait, what is that? Get away, fly. Stop it. Get... Go away, get... Where, where are you? Get away, get away. Ah, get away. Where's it gone? Hmm. Well, what... Hey, go... Stop following me. Go away. Find someone else to annoy. Gah! Ah. <sighs> That was one annoying fly. I wonder if I've got anything in my inventory that might help me defend myself if it comes back. No, just an inventory full of junk, as usual. Hey, wait! What are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be in here. Oh my gosh, I can't escape it. <laughs> annoying. Huh. I suppose that'll teach me for swatting flies. Welcome back everybody, it's me Bugman CX, and this is episode 58 of Minecraft The Journey. Can you believe that? 58, what an absolutely crazy number of episodes we have made exploring Minecraft's early development era. We're in Alpha 1.2.2 of Minecraft at the moment, and we're really, really close to the end of the Alpha phase of Minecraft, moving on to Beta. And I have to be honest, I... I kind of will be sad to move on from Alpha because it's such an it's such an amazing era of Minecraft. We've seen so many changes, so many new introductions like the Nether and all sorts of things like that. Changes to the textures, new biomes, all sorts of things. So moving on from Alpha honestly is going to be very difficult, but we have to do it. We have to move on and that will be coming up very, very soon. But for now, there are a few features in Alpha 1.2.2 left to explore. And there's also the, well, we have to do something about this house because this is the Alpha house and this is where we've lived through the Alpha era of Minecraft. But once we move on, we're going to move on. We're going to find a new location in the world and start up somewhere a little bit fresh in uh, Minecraft beta. It'll still be the same world. We'll still be able to come back here and do things or change things or improve things or whatever we need to do. This will always be here. But we want to get somewhere fresh, explore the new biomes, build in the new biomes and things like that. So I think today we are going to finish off this tunnel because I actually use this tunnel quite a bit. It's not very long. It does extend all the way out here and then fork off in a few directions. It goes off this way to head back into where the staircase is. And it also goes down this way where it goes out this way. And out here is where you access the beach and the dock and the mob wrangler and all sorts of things like that. It also goes out the front here, but I never actually use this, so I might just close it off because it doesn't really go anywhere useful. It just sort of goes here, where I've picked up some water and Minecraft's doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to have a think about an alpha style design that I can use for this corridor based on the blocks that we have. I don't know if it'll be in line with the same theme as the house. Technically, it is part of the house, so I don't know. I don't know. Let me have a look at all of the blocks we have available and see what I can come up with. Look how gloomy that is. It's so dark in there. I've blocked off the ends just because I wanted to see just how dark it could be. I've also shaved back the walls and the ceiling and the floor here so that we've got some room to build. And I was kind of thinking... I like the idea of a pitch black tunnel where you don't know anything about where you're going. But of course, we've got the mob problem. I suppose we could use a glass floor for that. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm not ready for this yet. I, I just want to make a tunnel that allows us to get to and from where we're going. But I do want it to be a little bit different. So I think we will have just an entrance around here so that it looks like a door going on into another part of the house. But when you open the door, you go into a new tunnel system that comes out at the other end. And I think what I want to do with the floor, I want to incorporate water somehow. So what I'm thinking is that this top layer might just be glass. That way we can still keep it dark, darker, and the mobs can't spawn on it. And down here we'll have just a water channel going like this and maybe here and here we'll have sand blocks, something like that, so that oh, it might just end up looking like a stripe with a, a, ch a channel, a channel, 
a tunnel? <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm really just trying to think about how to bring a creative modern style design into Alpha where you've got such limitation in the blocks. I mean, literally, I've just got cobble, dirt and slabs and iron and wood. You know, I don't, and logs. I don't really have very much to, to work with here. Let me see what it all looks like and then uh, we can have a fiddle. You know, tunnels in Alpha are really hard. Like I said, you don't have many block choices and I thought I would just play around with a deserty kind of idea where I would have some water which you could walk across and it would go all the way along and then maybe these sides could represent the, the sandy dunes or something like that. But it's not really working for me because what happens is you've got a tunnel like this and then you're just in a house. So I think I'm going to have to park this idea for now and maybe come up with something a little bit more alpha standard for the time being. And look, if you guys have any great ideas about tunnel designs in alpha with the block palette that we have, I am open to your ideas because I am struggling with my own ideas. So I might just go back to a standard palette of something like... Um, some slabs with some alternating floor design or something like that. Let me have another play around and see what I can come up with. I want now, I know, now I know that I want to have something that transitions into the house. So it, I think that's going to be important to make it work. It can't be too radically different like this because you, because you're just like, what, what is this? <laughs> so I have to break all this glass now because no silk touch. <laughs> I'm winging it here, I'm making it up as I go along, which is exactly how I usually build. I've gone for a sort of zigzaggy floor design here. So we've got these interlocking T shapes, as you can see, T shape here, T shape, T shape here, a bit like Tetris, but actually it turns out that these middle blocks here make a zigzag pattern. So the wood generator has come in really, really handy to generate all of this wood from boats. Really, really happy with that farm. I uh, don't think it will last forever, so I'm making as much use of it as I can right now. And at the moment, I'm just filling in the floor. Then I'm going to work out what I'm going to do with the walls. And I was wondering whether I might carry the sort of interlocking T-shape zigzag thing into the walls as well. Um, maybe it'll end up being a little bit like a spiral effect or something like that. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm just going to finish this off and then have a little bit of a play with that and see what we can do. But in between, I thought we would have a look at some of the features of 1.2.2, uh, which I promised to do a little while ago. Oh, I don't have any slabs to make a nice little exit here right into the water um, because I just want to have a look at the changes that were introduced in this version. To check out these changes, we're going to have to be here in the nether. Uh, I'm looking forward to not dying, I hope. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. If there are any ghasts out there, I'm a goner for sure. There is a change to the lava. It's not a very exciting change, but it is a change where lava will now flow further in the nether. So the way that lava and water works is that in the overworld, water flows eight blocks and lava flows four blocks. And in the nether previously, lava like this one would also flow four blocks. I believe that it now flows further. So look at this one, right? This is one, two, three, four, and it's not actually flowing any further. And maybe that's because this lava has already reached its peak flow. I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll pop down here and go next to the lava. Let's break that block. Actually, we'll break uh, all of this. So we've got a nice clean comparison. And so this one here should be the source block because that's uh, one, two, three, four, like I said. So if we put this one down, I think that this lava should now go straight over the edge. <gasps> yep, yep, thank you, Ghast. No, you're right in my way. <laughs> so does it actually flow? Yes. Oh, look, this is catching up now. Whatever's happened, Minecraft magic. So definitely lava is now flowing further in the nether. There it goes, all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to pick that up because I want my lava. It's mine. And no one else can have it. Now I have to... Hmm. Now I have to get back to where I was. Uh, can we... We're going to die, aren't we? Let's do it this way. 
and then we'll fix the- whoa! Oh, uh, I've ruined it. You can probably also hear that the nether now sounds a lot more quiet, and that's because the ghasts are no longer taking damage when they go through columns of lava like this, and also that bug where every time that a mob or an entity or a player would encounter fire, cactus, or lava, the mob sounds would compound and play. We saw that in a previous episode, and now you don't hear any of that in the nether, so it's a little bit more peaceful and, um, I say, better. Look at that ghast. It's still on fire, but it's not taking damage. That's interesting. I didn't ex- Whoa, No! I didn't expect it to actually catch fire. I just assumed that it would become fireproof. <laughs> Look, what's it doing? Okay, okay, okay. Enough of that, enough of that. We don't want to damage the igloo. I, I don't want to repair that thing, that's for sure. So, um, the next thing that we need to test has to do with pigmen, and honestly, this is the one that I think is going to kill me. So, the change that happened is that, as we know, pigmen will attack you, zombie pigmen I should say, will attack you if you attack them. But in this version, they now forgive, and actually, I've never really tested this in these versions either. It's a little bit dark here, can we... Let's light the place up. There we go, now I can see. Now what happens is, if, if I hit him, his friends will come after me, so maybe we'll just test that. Huh. No! Yay, look at them, look at them, they're all coming after me. Yep, they're all attacking me, no, no. No, oh no, they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me. Uh. Oh, there's one up there as well. I wanted to get up there as my, my place of safety. It's not good being up here when there are ghasts around. Is this one coming after me? So what does it mean when we say zombie pigmen forgive? Because the ones down here are all attacking me and the one up here seems to be quite passive and I think, and that one too. I believe that the reason for this is because you were out of range when I struck the other pigmen so you, oh no, I was wrong. <laughs> I'm heading back from spawn to collect all of my gear and I'm assuming that when we get up here the zombie pigmen are hopefully going to have forgiven me. I don't really know what to expect in this version. Oh, I need to fix this. I took this out because I was planning to do some work here but never did. So I need to put the tunnel back, the tunnel decor. Alright, so if I head out here, let's see what we're up against. Are there any pigmen over there? There's one with all of my items. Okay, let's just run out there and see what happens. Hopefully they've all forgotten about everything. Totally forgiven me. I didn't do anything to- no, 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 they haven't forgiven me. No, they haven't forgiven me. I want all my items. Don't, don't kill me. <laughs> How are we going to deal with this? Round two, and all we need to do is get out there, get our gear, pick it all up, and then get back to safety somehow so hopefully this time we can do that without getting slaughtered hopefully they've forgiven me nope nope they definitely haven't forgiven me oh no I've got no way of escaping uh oh can they see me haha <laughs> I fooled them they don't know where I've gone uh, how do I get out there without all of my stuff expiring um whoa no? Okay, let's run. Let's cheese it! No! Oh, that, that guy has reach. Okay, maybe if I run around like this, they'll sort of... Oh, I'm trying to do this. No, I can't do it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. <sighs> okay, I'm not taking any more risks. I've got now a full new set of armor and a new sword, just in case we need to defend ourselves. I don't really need the armor as such. I didn't really bring anything important with me, but I just want to get it back if I can. Hey, are you giving me some food that I can take with me? <laughs> I guess this will do. Um, I didn't really bring anything important, anything that I care about, but it is good to get that armor back because it all helps in the long run, especially when resources are so few and far between in many ways, especially diamonds. Well, we have a lot of diamonds from duplicating them but you know what I mean <laughs> we need to get our stuff back from these annoying pigmen hmm okay the question is have they forgiven me have you forgiven no you haven't forgiven me am I just going to have to kill you all oh <laughs> that was a bad move 
Okay. Let's hop, let's hop up here. Maybe from here we can... Yeah. We can just sort of kill them. Let's get rid of all of you. Now, I can hear them everywhere, but... No, 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 no. Ghast fireballs are worse than pigmen because they will destroy my igloo. Ooh. Okay, we've got everything back that we wanted. Except for you. Ooh. Well, hmm. I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to be having problems with these pigmen for quite a while yet. <laughs> uh, do they forgive? I don't know. I don't really know. After that pigman experience, I've been over here back at the house and I've been working on this tunnel and I think I've come up with something now that I'm quite happy with. Something that helps the house transition into the tunnel and then the tunnel transition into the other tunnels and then eventually head outside and transition to the outside. So let's have a quick look in front of me. First, it does use the same sort of blocks that we've seen in the rest of the house, and that's what I think makes it actually work. It does blend out, it doesn't need any door or anything, it can just exist there as a tunnel. And look at that effect as well that you get, it's uh, a really weird effect. And the reason it's so black out there at the moment is that if we go outside here, it's currently night time. Yep, definitely night time. So if you look down the end of the tunnel, you just see blackness. I've opened it up a little bit there as well, so that we should actually see sunset when sunset happens, if we happen to be standing here. Uh, maybe I can catch that a little bit later on before the end of the episode. But if you go in here, this is such a simple design, but I really, really like it. It's kind of spirally, but not spirally at all. And it actually only uses two blocks. It uses the slab and it uses wood and, of course, some torches, but they're here for lighting, really, more than anything else. And if you look closely, what you can see is that same T-shaped design that I discussed before, where we've got T's like this, T's crisscrossing, and, of course, the slabs are going zigzaggy across the floor. So the floor is a little bit different to the walls, which is a bit more stripy. And this is what is actually happening here. Each time the slab intersects with the wall, you can see that it goes around and then it stops and then we've got a torch. Here as well, it goes up and around and over the other side and then we've got a torch. So I really like that effect because it's very, very even, but it's also, you know, a little different on each side as you go, round and round and round. As we head down the tunnel, it goes off in two directions. First is this tunnel, which transitions I think quite well from the wood and the slabs to the cobblestone and the slabs which is the look that we've got in this main tunnel here if you ignore the logs but yeah as you can see we've got slabs and cobble uh, as the decoration for this particular staircase so I think if you're walking through here it all feels very natural and then you go this way and you go oh that's different and then you walk up here and of course you've got your new tunnel effect and then down here, as I said, we've opened up the end here as well, so that now we can actually come out here and enjoy the sunset if we want. We, I might finish this up here and make it a bit more accessible to a little bit of a beach out here where you could come out and enjoy the sunset and then head back into the tunnel if you want to. And then, of course, this tunnel also branches out to the right here so that we've got quick access to the other side of the beach. And this is a slightly different transition as well. We've got the wood and the cobble, and it's a bit more of a, just a stripe going out like this. And I think it works rather well. It naturally blends into the landscape there. Looking very cool, very cool. And I'm actually so glad that I've finished this particular tunnel because it's definitely one thing that I wanted to get done. And it's not too dark and gloomy. It's fairly well lit, and I'm really happy with it. And that's all we have time for in this episode, I'm afraid. So I'm going to stand here and wait for the sunset so that we can watch that as the episode ending kicks in. And of course, if you did enjoy today's episode, then please feel free to leave a like and a comment or something like that if you want to. And of course, the subscribe button is always there. The subscribe button in combination with that bell lets you know every time I post an episode. And who wouldn't want that in their lives, right? It all helps my channel grow as well, which is amazing, and I really am enjoying making the series. So whatever you can do to help, thank you. But until the next episode, this has been Bugman CX. You've been watching Minecraft The Journey. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bye-bye.